All right, time now for a cold case. It sounds out of this world. Two private investigators on the hunt in California for a guy who supposedly took a picture of a UFO sighting. Take a look at a moment here at an unidentified flying object said to be from a guy named Raji who posted it online. But now Raji's gone. And a tipster says if you can find the telephone pole in this shot, you can find Raji. Well, the private eyes, Frankie Dixon, T.K. Davis, with us now from California. And gentlemen, thank you for your time. Uh, you went to hunt for this thing. T.K., what have you found? Well, we started out, we got a, a call from a woman in the United Kingdom. Uh, she represented a group of people uh, from the Open Minds Forum. Uh, they contracted us to go find this Raji person in Capitola, California. Uh, Frank, my partner here, we made him the pole expert, uh, and all we had to go on was a telephone pole and, of course, the uh, drone sighting. And did you find it? Not yet. Wow, uh, we... so you're still looking. Frank, what do you think of these pictures? What is that thing in the air? Uh, that's what we're trying to find out. Uh, we're actually trying to find the pole, and from the pole, hopefully, it leads us to a witness. Um, but we can need some information. We're early on in the investigation. And we're still finding some things out. Yeah, how do you guys feel about UFOs? TK, you first. Uh, at first, to be honest, I, I was open-minded, uh, but the more I looked into the huge uh, community of UFO uh, observers, uh, I, I, I start to lean towards uh, uh, believing they're there. Yeah, Frank, what about you? I keep an open mind. Um, there's a lot of things going on out there. Uh, something happened in Roswell. Uh, we still really don't know what happened there, but I, I keep an open mind about it. Well, where's Haji, TK? I mean, he's the guy who's responsible for this, right? That's right, uh, and, and that's what we're trying to do. You know, we just had an article in the L.A. Times, and before my website had zero hits. Now we had 10,000 uh, uh, views on that website, and we're getting tons of information uh, from the public. Well, what are people telling uh, you, TK? Well, first of all, they're giving Frank and I an education on how, which poll and what to look for, et cetera, et cetera. And we're also getting uh, uh, information about Raji. Uh, we did actually uh, get one unknown before witness uh, to, to one of these drones. Uh, didn't have a picture of it, but... Uh, is progressing nicely. Yeah, I tell you what we're hearing. We're hearing from some of our viewers. They're curious about this, and others are saying that this thing was debunked a year ago. Uh, is that the case, Frank? You know, uh, no one's really debunked it completely. Uh, they've looked at it with the computer-generated uh, graphics now. Uh, almost anything's possible. But uh, our people, our clients, have told us that they've had this looked at by experts, and no one at this point can discount it, discount it completely. I want to get TK uh, to respond to that, too. TK? Uh, pr pretty much uh, what Frank said, uh, you know, it's like we were in law enforcement for 30 years, and you can get someone to testify as an expert, somebody's insane, and somebody to testify as an expert that they're not. And, and we're getting the same kind of feedback in, in the results of the analysis of these pictures. That's a funky-looking thing, I'll tell you that, whether it's made up or not. <laughs> T.K. Davis, thank you. Frank Dixon, good luck on your hunt, gentlemen. Thank you. Trying okay, to find thank out. You. Telephone pole, the utility pole. Interesting. You know, some of those pictures looks like some sort of contraption out of like some some Indian wedding or something. Yeah. Look, look at that thing. An Indian wedding. Why not do the air?